Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this is a plastic canvas um, visual. I bought this at the Dollar Tree. So I was so excited. I did a Dollar Tree haul with plastic canvas and the video is on my channel. If you hear the dogs tramping around, eating and drinking in the background, I do apologize. But they're part of my life and um, one of them is very sick. So um, it is what it is. Anyway, um, so this is the froggy that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I wanted you to see the packaging, except for the light glare. Let's see, does that make it worse? No, well, at least the glare is off of it, but a little ring light. So we're gonna cut it open so you can see what's in the package. So we can see what comes in the package. Did I cut it good enough? Yeah. So it's pretty cool. It comes with the plastic canvas, which is awesome, and it already comes pre-cut out, which is cool, so that you can count and make you some more templates before you actually do them. Now, as you know, I don't read directions very well, so I will not be making these tutorials because I cannot understand these X's. So I've gotta figure out a way to make these. But it's really cool. It does come with the yarn. I suggest you're probably gonna to have to find yarn that matches these. And these colors are pretty um, common, so you'll be easy to find them. I love the little needle that comes with it. It's awesome. Um, and then you can also use it to measure so that when you go to make more than just one, what I would suggest is if you're going to make multiples, to go ahead and do it at each point, at each step. So what I would suggest is if you like the frog and you want to make more than one, I would cut out as many of these as you need. And then once you stitch the eyes, then I would stitch all of them. Then when you do the body, I would do all of them. When you do the legs, I would do all of them. And then when you fill in, I would do them all. So if you do them all in each step, it'll be easier for you to keep up with, keep up with them. But this is what this one came with, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited. It's great. I wish I could read these kind of patterns, but I'm one of those visuals. I, I would, I'm going to have to like probably copy it and count it out and, um, write it down on a piece of paper and do it that way or something. I don't know, but I'm very excited about this pattern. It is adorable. And this is the froggy pattern and you can keep it. <clears throat> and, um, like I said, this is the company. So you might could go online and order it straight from the company itself. I really hate that little glare from the, can I get it off of there? Maybe if I go down here or something, that ring light won't be on there so much and you can see where to order it from. Um, but anyway, these are all the cool colors that it comes with. And like I said, it's already pre-cut, which is kind of cool so that you can even make kits. So let's say if you have um, a daycare or a class and you're a teacher uh, maybe you want to do a craft show in your house where kids come over and you teach crafts or maybe you do craft parties this would be great for anything it's a beginner's kit so let's zoom in to the froggy let me get him in the center here I'm hoping I can get that glare off of there oh, no can I get it off I want you to be able to take a picture of it. What I may do is take a picture and just put it at the end of the video. How's that? Then you can pause it and then screenshot it. I think that would be the best thing to do because when I zoom in, the glare from the light kind of, you know, blinds you. So I'll just take a picture and at the end of this visual video, you can just pause it and then screenshot it and then print it out on your computer and then you can make your own. I'm going to go ahead and count the squares. So that if you do want to, you can, you'll know what size it is. So let's count here. One, two, three, four, I'm on camera. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So I counted 38. So I'm assuming this side is probably 38, but we'll count it just to make sure. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay, so there's your count. Um, also, where is it at? Where did it go? Please tell me I didn't lose it. Uh-oh, where did it go? Oh, hold on just a minute. Y'all know me. I'm always organized until I'm not organized, and I don't know where, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay, I wanted to look at something. Oh, here we go. Tissue box. <clears throat> if you want to make it into a tissue box, it will be a little wider, and it will be a little taller, but that's okay, you know, um, if it's bigger and wider, you know. I think it'd be a cute and you can also cut it off um see how you have an extra rose here you have one two three four one let's see one two three one two three four so once he's done you could actually cut off four so if we cut off three here one two three then it would be the perfect fit so three so you cut off three on each side after it's done <laughs> And um, you will have your, you know, pattern. And then there's a row above him and a row below him. So it might be a little bit tall. But I like mine a little tall anyway. Because, you know, when you pull the tissues, it, it's not snug, tug. But, yeah, you could cut off three of each side. And then it'll fit on there perfect. See? One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And that leaves right there a perfect patch. See? So you could even make the tissue box. And then the lid, I would just do anything. I would just pick these colors that you have and then just make a cute little lid, something on the top. You know, you can do stripes or zigzags or whatever. So and there's the idea for the tissue box. So that goes for any of the patterns that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I hope you enjoy this little visual video. I'm going to put the, the um, picture at the end so that you can screenshot it and like I said it even comes with a needle so all you'll have to buy at the Dollar Tree is a pair of scissors unless you already have a pair I always buy a pair of scissors when I go because I'm bad about cutting my plastic canvas with my scissors and ruining them <laughs> thanks for watching have a wonderfully blessed day I appreciate your loyalty thanks for your subscription and those of you that are members there are videos for you in the member video section and thanks for watching have a blessed day